Welcome to another edition of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on the Newbie Farm. Alright, so, as you can see, we have 90 grand. Uh, we sold a little, a few things. Uh, by a few things, I just mean some crops that we had laying around. And the milk's been coming and going as well. Uh, so we need to do a few things on the farm today. First thing we need to do is go and look at this little calf over here. Isn't that pretty? Anyways, so, our breeding station is working slowly, and because we don't have, we only have 21 cows, um, it's only using one stall at a time. I'm going to rectify that situation right now by buying some more cows, and we're probably going to buy some more sheep. So let's buy another 25 sheep, so we're up to 200 sheep, 201 sheep. And let's buy a few more cows. Say, uh, 40 cows. So then we have a few more cows now, so we'll produce a little bit more milk and we'll be able to hopefully get this breeding station working a bit better. Initially it was supposed to work better than this. Uh, it was supposed to produce uh, not just one calf at a time, but five, but because the number of cows we have, it's only producing one. Maybe we'll get more now. So word to the wise next time, uh, only get the breeding station once you have lots of cows. <laughs> Apparently that's the way to do it. Also, what we need to do is we need to put some more hay, or say some grass, in our mixing station. Let's go ahead and do that. It shouldn't take too long, so we're just gonna do that right now. Oh, it's producing grass, good. So we're gonna do that right now quickly. And our field of canola is still half ready, not fully ready for whatever reason, which is kind of strange, but it's just the way it's working right now. So I guess I could harvest half of that canola field, but not all of it, which is kind of funny. So off screen, last time I finished cultivating or finished sowing uh, that new field we bought which was field 13 there and I put uh, canola in there so it can grow off in the distance and do its own thing for a while uh, I think what I will do is maybe I'll put corn in there next or maybe sunflowers we'll see so great demand for sunflowers is coming up uh, where is it here? In one day, and then we have barley and then potatoes. So what we could do is we could so put some barley in somewhere. We have. I don't think we have a field that's open at the moment. No, we don't. So what we're gonna do is I guess we're gonna make some barley then. Or make some barley. We're gonna sow some barley when we get a chance. Uh, it's not supposed to. Uh, it's not for like three days. It said so. We should be okay for the most part. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. I probably could increase the speed to second level. Let's just see. I'm pretty sure. No. Just the first level, but I probably could increase our. ELS limiter a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit faster. And then we'll get this done. Uh, so as we discovered before, this trailer holds 25,000. And hopefully, I finally discovered the magic combination for, for the sound in the video. Hopefully, let me know in the let me know in the comments uh, whether the video slash audio combination is good or not for you, and uh, we'll go from there. I feel like I'm getting less grass than I normally do. I don't know why. I wonder why that is. I did take the realistic mod off, so maybe that's part of the reason why. But it still seems like I'm getting less. And it's fully mature grass because it has the flowers. So I don't know what's up with that. 
So we're gonna go ahead and drop this off here. And we'll do it one more time so it's full. There we go. Let's make sure we're just in the right place there. Perfect. And we need to harvest some wheat at some point again too. I sold all the wheat without giving any to the chickens apparently, so that's not good. And our wool pallet collector is doing well. And I think we'll do we'll make another change because of that as well. So because we have a few more sheep, and I took the real, more realistic mod off just to see how things would work without it. Uh, it's a bit of a pain to move these really light wool pallets, because before they were a bit heavier, so they would act a bit differently. And now they act like they are balloons and just floating all over the place. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to change up our trailer that we use for wool and I'll change it into a fancy auto loader trader trailer because those bales of hay are not fun to move because they're super light and especially with the bobcat it seems like they just float off of it because it jerks around a lot just because the way it drives but it could just be my driving too and as I mentioned we uh, we got the other field there, so 13. And the next on the list is to try and get number 12. And if number 12 comes on an auction rate, uh, definitely gonna pick that up. Otherwise, it's $241,000. So a bit on the pricey side, but it's a big field, so. That's okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting a lot less grass, that's weird. Maybe it's because of the more realistic mod, I don't know. It's hard to tell. That's the only mod I really took off. And I haven't found any new mods. Um, most of all the same ones, basically. I did find out that... Uh, where is it here? Not mods. Not placeables. Just the regular tippers. Here we are. Uh, that this tipper, I believe it is. Yeah, this tipper, I think, actually does take forage mix as well. Uh, it takes forage, so that means it's the mixed stuff, and I believe it takes grass and chaff, uh, I, if I remember correctly. So, I may pick up that, but I think I have all the equipment right now to not pick it up at the moment, so... Which is fine. Alright, so, almost full here. Unfortunately, it doesn't, even with the visor down, whoops, even with the visor down there, it uh, doesn't quite look 100% right, but it'll get the job done. Alright, almost full here. Not doing a very good job of being precise on this, but that's okay. It grows back, and then you'll never notice. And what I'm going to do is after I fill this up, I'm going to go ahead and set that combine off. Because I'm right over here anyways. I'm just going to do that right now. So I'm going to get him to harvest that other random half over there. I still haven't changed the head. I don't know why. It's because I know I'll lose money by changing the head. Um... But I should do that. Alright. There we go. It'll only be a couple passes, and I won't need to bring a trailer out anytime soon, so. That's fine. There we go. And because the mixing station only holds 50,000, this will be perfect. Alright. Let's just drop this in over here. Slow down here. This up. Now one of the things I wish they did with these trailers more often is uh, they said how much horsepower you should have for them. Because I bet this trailer probably needs... It's a pretty big trailer, so I imagine it needs, needs a pretty high horsepower. 
but it doesn't say how much you actually need. Even with the more realistic mod, it doesn't mention how much horsepower you actually need on them, so. I always thought that was kind of strange. That's fine. Still only one cow in there. Yeah. So I'm gonna go put this back in the shed over here. And I don't have any wheat to feed my chickens or else I would do that. And what I'll do is do a nice little wide turn. Slow down a little bit here. That's fine. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll just back this up in here. Just like so. Turn it off. And then I'm going to trade this in for something else. I'm going to trade the trailer in as well. Oh my goodness, this tractor takes forever to start up. And the reason why I'm trading this in, because the trailer I'm getting is a it's like a flatbed trailer basically. And I don't Oh, almost hit the wall there. And this tractor won't handle it anyway, so that's something I need to take in, take into consideration as well. Uh, I could use the Fent uh, to do it which I may actually end up doing. And that'll also help me save on a little bit of maintenance because I'll have one less tractor as well. This is a nice tractor. Not bad for the price. 64 horsepower and it's got a lot of, a lot of little features. Which is kinda nice. And what I, actually maybe what I'll do is I'll pick up the trailer, or the tractor I keep talking about. There we go. Do a little Yui around here. Here we go, and just drive it straight in. All right, sell the trailer, sell the tractor. So now we have fifty-six thousand dollars. So let's go ahead and buy a old tractor. So we could get this. But we don't really, this has wither wheels on it, I know that for a fact, so it's not that much fun to drive around. And that's not powerful enough. I don't like, these ones are nice functional tractors, but they don't look very pretty. Go figure, eh? These aren't powerful enough. Uh, neither is that one. Ah, uh, no, not really. Uh, these could work. I want it to use course play probably. Too expensive. Too expensive. I could get this actually. And use this as a. How much did this tractor have in comparison to the other one? Uh, $20 a day maintenance. Actually, if I got that tractor, <laughs> way more maintenance. But this tractor will allow me to get a more powerful cedar eventually too. And it won't. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get this. Which is cheaper than I was going to buy. I was going to buy this other tractor down here. So let's get that. And let's go into bailing technology. And then we'll get the... We'll need to get a couple things, actually. We'll need to get the dolly. Uh, no, it's not this one. So this is the trailer. It's really cheap. I don't know why. And I'm going to need... I think it'll be in miscellaneous, I guess. Uh, where is it? I'd like to get... Those are nice track. Nice, nice semis, but don't really need those. I am looking for... Where are they located? Is it in this? Looking for the dolly. I forgot where, I, where it is. Front loaders, harvesters, tippers. I think maybe it's in tippers. Yeah, there it is. Oh gosh, this is going to be interesting. So this is our monstrosity. Uh, it's 
If you read the description, it says it used to be used for Russian rockets. Um, so yeah, that's why it looks really crazy. Not a very pretty uh, piece of machinery, but it gets the job done. I don't know if you can hear the sound there, but... But it's powerful, so that, that's what we need. So because this particular trailer is huge, we want a powerful tractor for it. And this is going to be interesting with an articulated tractor. Oh, goodness. Alright, we should be able to do it. Uh, or I could just force it back in there. But let's try and actually back it up here. There we go. A little bit further. Do this way a little bit. Oh, we had it there for a second. Perfect. <laughs> that just looks funny. But, it's a powerful enough tractor to pull this trailer, I feel. 220 horsepower. Uh, not very pretty inside. But it'll get the job done for us. We could drive through this bush if the bush had something to drive through. So this is like fancy trailer. Um, it automatically picks up bales. There's no arm that comes out, which is a little silly. But I don't mind it for the most part. And what I could do is once I get some more money, I'll be able to replace our cedar. Uh, because we have a small cedar and that big field that we just picked up is a little on the big side for our small cedar. So this thing goes 31 kilometers an hour, which is a bit slower than you'd find on the highway or roads, I should say. I suppose I could have picked up uh, the dualies for it as well, but... I imagine it is pretty heavy. I can use it to. I could use it, I suppose, to uh, compact our silage pit as well. So I'll show you how this works right now. Uh, so let me see. We have it normal bales. Uh, where are we? So load products, no. We want to change the type of product. It's wool. And we'll keep it on. We'll load side. It'll be. Where is it? Unloading side. Uh, back's fine, I suppose and want well, automatic all right so i'll show you the way it works quickly so you set it so it starts loading the products and then all you need to do is because the way this is set up here um it'll probably this thing is enormous uh it'll probably work a bit easier with uh with this thing so check this out, if I can get up that little ramp, apparently not. So this thing holds 12 pallets. There we go. And see, it just pops right on there. Kind of silly, but for these pallets, it's functional, so I don't mind so much. And because this is articulated, actually, it works fairly well for this area, it's because it's tight. So I'm gonna pull this down and around turn that off now and what I'll do is uh, I guess I'll put it in the shed yeah and then what we can do is we can actually use this to pick up bales if we ever decide to do bales as well so I'm gonna do a nice big turn turn this around and this tractor will be used for seating as well like as I mentioned so That's good. Oh, wonder why won't let me, uh... oh, there we go. Perfect. Just leave that there for the time being. Turn it off. There we go. It's a pretty massive thing. And for what I'm using for it, it should be okay. And I'll need, I'll need to do that manually, but it won't be very often because I have so many 
And because of that, we don't need these forks anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell those forks. I'm not going to drive it there. I'm just going to... Whoops. So I got 600 bucks back. Woohoo! Uh, there we go. And... Let's... Where is my tractor? Let's go ahead and pick up the canola from our other co combine, which is probably right, done by now. It's only a couple passes, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Or shouldn't take too long either, so... So we're going to use our little small grain buggy here. And go and pick it up. I really like this little grain buggy. Considering how much it actually costs to buy, it's only like $1,200. And it holds like 6000 So as a starting piece of... Uh, a starting uh, piece of equipment. It's pretty darn good, actually. The hemp hasn't grown there yet. Canola guy is done. And I think that is... What do they plant that as? Oat. That's right. So our oats aren't quite done. So we did the two outside halves of this field, not the inside. Still not sure why. That's fine, though. There we go. Let's get in the combine here. Oh, she's... Oh, she's not running. I thought she was there for a second. Gonna need to move it anyway, so let's just back it up a little bit here. Apparently, this trailer's small, so it makes it difficult to line up where it's supposed to go. Oh my goodness. There we go. Sheesh. Perfect. What I'm going to do is going to drive the combine straight out of here and just leave it in this field for the time being because we need to finish off that last little bit middle part. I will probably do that off camera considering how silly that field's being right now. So, And then I think I'll plant this as maybe corn. Yeah, we haven't done corn in a while. Let's do corn there. So there you have it. We bought a new tractor. We sold a tractor. So now we have a tractor that can use um, one of our one of the seeders. Where is it here? Seeding technology. Where are you? So we can sell this once we get enough money to buy this one right here. So this is eight meters wide. And this has been modded to sew all of the things on this map. So we need $88,000. So maybe if we get a whole bunch of wool and we get a few, uh, if we get a great demand for sunflower, maybe we'll finally be able to actually make a whole chunk of change there and go from there. Next thing I think I want to do maybe is sell that tractor and get something else as well. Maybe get a newer tractor. So we're just going to drop the canola off in our tipping point over here. And then... And then... Uh, that'll be it for today, I think. There we go. We don't have any wheat to feed the sheep. Or feed the sheep feed the chickens otherwise I would and uh, yeah I don't there's anything else for the moment so until next time uh, what I'll do off screen is I'll probably plant that field as corn and then I'll probably also uh, speed up time a little bit and get some more sale on milk and also a little bit more for wool and then maybe if we get enough wool We'll do a wool run. And I'll show you how ridiculous that thing's going to look on the road. Alright, until next time, this has been Ian Robson on the Newbie Farm. Talk to you guys later.